and went to the way I thought I had uh, a bit of a sinus infection. It was literally a week before I was told you have cancer and it's going to come out now. Andy Hayes was diagnosed with late stage bone cancer in his upper jaw. Surgery successfully removed the cancer but left him without his right cheek. Now he's here at Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham, where the latest technology will be used to give him a new face and a new life. I'm weak compared to how I was before. So uh, just hopefully getting back to some form of normality, really. The facial reconstruction unit at Queen Elizabeth Hospital is amongst the world's most advanced. Using a blend of the latest technology in 3D printing and computer modeling, they have improved accuracy, reduced surgery times and lowered costs. We've probably led the world in a lot of the 3D technology and reconstruction. Sat Palmer is leading Andy's surgery. Can you just tell us the main issues that brought you to come and see us? What the problem is, when they removed my tooth, they actually took my top half of my jaw and also the palate of my mouth. As I can hear, I can't talk properly because I have no seal, so all the air is coming out of my nose. Um, it's very difficult to eat and drink. Uh, and as for my eye, I have severe uh, double vision. For months, the reconstruction team have been preparing for Andy's surgery, computer modeling his skull and the section of hip which will be removed and then secured into his cheek. This piece of bone here, which is Andrew's hip, what I've tried to do is use the natural curve of the hip to recreate the dental arch. Hitesh Coria heads up the facial reconstruction team. The process begins by loading a scan of Andy's skull into a computer program. Then, when the section of hip is correctly fitted, a 3D model is printed. Historically, um, the consultants used to do this in theatre and it was quite generic. We've now developed a method where we bring the 3D models into play. The engineers use the model of Andy's skull to pre-bend titanium plates to millimetre accuracy. We bend all our plates specifically to the patient so it's close adapted to the bone. And um, this ultimately saves quite a lot of theatre time, in the region of about two to three hours, depending on the comp uh, complexity of work. It is complex surgery. There's no guarantee of success. No, no. no. Yeah. More than a year after Andy's first operation to remove the cancer, and he's preparing for surgery again. A bit nervous. And so, are you ready? Yes. Sat and his team operate on Andy for over 10 hours, removing bone from his hip and bolting it into his skull. It's delicate and difficult work. The type of reconstruction we're doing is not universally accepted around the world. In fact, it's very rarely done in the United States of America. And part of it is it's a difficult reconstruction. Because of the accuracy made possible by 3D printing and modeling, Sat's team are able to use the veins and arteries in Andy's face rather than graft others from his leg. Actually, the way we do it in Birmingham, which is a lot cheaper compared to how it's done elsewhere. The surgery is a success. Where's your rope? Where's your rope? Where is it? Where's your rope? This is my home, in the kitchen. You, you probably notice I've put on a, a bit of weight now, now that I can, can eat and drink properly. Uh, they, they couldn't position my eye as well as they would have wanted. So um, I, I still have a few issues there, but overall life is, you know, it, it's, it's better. Good boy. Later in the year, Andy will undergo further cosmetic surgery, but for now he's recovering. The scarring will reduce, the red lines will reduce. I don't expect it to be perfect. Um, 
but from what they've said, it will be as close to as, as, as good as normal. For Andy, there's still a long journey to full recovery. But the team at Queen Elizabeth Hospital are confident that their marriage of high tech and high skill will transform lives. They're already training foreign surgeons in the hope that their pioneering techniques will have a global impact.